humans don't do half measures. We finish what we start. The cold words echoed in the briefing room of the Galactic Federation's last functioning warship. Captain Tarkin, a grizzled veteran of a dozen wars, stared at the holographic map flickering before him. The Tyrant Empire's war front was a jagged, blood-red line cutting across the galaxy, and the Federation's territory was shrinking by the day. Tarkin wasn't alone. Beside him, Admiral Karsk shifted uncomfortably. He'd seen every kind of species and every kind of warrior, but these humans, they were different. Ruthless, some said. Efficient, said others. He glanced at the group of human soldiers standing near the door, clad in matta. Black armor, their faces hidden beneath helmets. They hadn't moved an inch since they'd arrived. Not a sound, not a fidget. They were a strange breed. Earth soldiers, part of some secret operation, the humans had been planning for years. The Federation had sent countless messages to Earth, begging for help. Silence. Until one day, out of nowhere, they responded, We'll handle it. Tarkin still wasn't sure what to think of them. But humanity was the Federation's last hope. He cleared his throat. You understand the stakes? Yes. His voice wavered slightly as he addressed Commander Cole, the apparent leader of the human squad. Cole turned, his voice coming out flat, devoid of any warmth. Tarkin tried to read the man but it was impossible. Cole's face gave nothing away. His cold blue eyes locked onto the map. Operation Overlord begins at zero hour. We'll take the tyrant capital within a day. A day? Admiral Karsk couldn't hold back his disbelief. You do realize we've been fighting them for decades. Cole didn't blink. And you've been losing for decades. Tarkin's hands clenched behind his back. The truth hurt, but they couldn't afford to let pride get in the way. What exactly is your plan, Commander? Cole's gaze shifted to the rest of his squad. We'll hit them where they least expect it. We've studied the tyrants. Understand them better than they understand themselves. They rely on brute strength, overwhelming force. We will turn that against them. The commander paused, his voice hard. We're not here to fight like you do. We're here to win. There was silence in the room. Tarkin could feel the tension, the doubt. But what choice did they have? The Federation was on its knees, and the tyrants were weeks away from wiping them out entirely. All right, Tarkin said, his voice firm. It won't fail. Cole's interruption was as cold as the void outside. He turned to his men, their silent figures like statues. Prepare for deployment. As the humans left the room, Karsk exhaled slowly. I don't like it, Captain. They're too confident, too detached. Tarkin shook his head. I don't care if they're from the deepest pits of some cursed planet. If they can deliver us from this nightmare, I'll take it. Hours later, the human fleet emerged from hyperspace a black swarm against the glittering stars. Their ships were unlike anything the Federation had ever seen, angular designs that with weapons never seen before. Inside the command center, Cole stood with his hands behind his back, watching as the first phase of the plan unfolded. Engage the tyrant defense grid, he ordered. His voice was calm, steady. One of his techs tapped into the console, hacking their systems now. On the main screen, the tyrant capital world appeared, fortified, heavily defended, a fortress in space. Its defense grid lit up lasers and plasma turrets targeting the incoming human ships. But before they could fire, the turrets flickered, then went dark. We're in, the tech confirmed. Turrets offline, shields down. Cole nodded, begin the assault. From the human ships, Thousands of pods launched, each carrying squads of genetically enhanced soldiers. They crashed through the atmosphere of the tyrant world like falling stars, slamming into the planet's surface with bone. Jarring impact. Cole's voice came over the comms. Phase 2. 
the humans moved, breaching the tyrant fortresses with ease. Plasma fire lit up the skies as the tyrants scrambled to react, but it was chaos. Their communications were jammed, their systems compromised. Every attempt to rally was crushed before it began. Cole and his team were on the ground now, moving through the enemy stronghold. Tyrant soldiers fell before them like wheat before the scythe. The humans didn't stop, didn't hesitate. They didn't speak unless absolutely necessary. Their actions coordinated through neural links and instinct. The battle was brutal, fast, and one-sided. By the time the Federation's fleet arrived in orbit, the tyrant capital was already burning. Tarkin stood on the bridge of his warship, staring in disbelief. They've done it. He turned to Karsk, who could only nod in stunned silence. Get me a line to Commander Cole, Tarkin ordered, his voice tight with urgency. When Cole's face appeared on the screen, there wasn't a scratch on him. His squad stood behind him, weapons slung casually across their armored shoulders. The capital is ours, Cole said without ceremony. Tyrant leadership has been neutralized. We've won. Tarkin felt the weight lift from his shoulders, but something gnawed at him. How did you do it so fast? Cole's eyes narrowed slightly. We're not here to fight wars, Captain. We're here to end them. The transmission cut off, leaving Tarkin staring at the empty screen. Victory had come. But the humans were just getting started. The tyrant empire had been decapitated, but there was still the question of what came next. Karsk spoke quietly beside him. Tarkin didn't answer. The Federation had asked for help, and help had come. But now that the humans were in the game, no one knew what rules they were playing by. The war was over, or was it just beginning? The flames of the tyrant capital still smoldered as Commander Cole and his team regrouped at the makeshift command center, on the planet's surface. His visor flickered with data streams as he monitored the cleanup operations. The Federation's forces were arriving en masse now, securing what was left of the planet after the human assault. Phase 3 begins at dawn, Cole stated, breaking the silence that had settled over the room. His men acknowledged with curt nods, no questions asked. Tarkin arrived moments later, his face pale as he took in the scene around him. The capital city, once an impenetrable fortress, was now rubble. Tyrant bodies littered the streets, their vaunted defenses torn apart as if by some unstoppable force. Cole turned, noticing the captain's arrival. I trust you're satisfied with the results, Captain. Tarkin shook his head slowly. Satisfied? No. Astonished. Yes, but I need to know what your next move is. Cole's expression didn't change. We eliminate what's left of the tyrant fleet. They'll try to regroup, but it won't matter. We'll hunt them down, system by system, and erase every trace of their empire. Tarkin felt a chill crawl up his spine at the cold finality in Cole's words. That's extreme. The Federation can handle the cleanup. We just needed... You needed the tyrants gone, Cole cut him off. We're making sure they never come back. Tarkin's jaw clenched. He stepped forward, lowering his voice, but keeping it firm. This isn't just about wiping them out. There are rules. Protocols. The Federation isn't in the business of genocide. Cole stared at him, unblinking. You're not in the business of winning either. That's why you called us. The room went quiet, a heavy silence lingering between them. Tarkin wanted to argue, to protest. But how could he? The Federation had been losing ground for years. Now, the war was nearly over in a matter of days. The price, though the price was humanity's brutal efficiency. Before Tarkin could respond, Cole turned to his men. Mount up. One of his lieutenants, a broad-shouldered soldier named Harris, activated his wrist pad. Next target. Stralax, the last stronghold of the tyrant fleet. Confirmed, Cole said. 
he glanced back at Tarkin. If you're coming, stay out of our way. The operation's already in motion. Without waiting for a reply, Cole and his men walked out of the room, heading for their drop pods. Tarkin watched them go, his stomach twisting. Karsk, who had quietly observed the entire exchange, stepped up beside him. They're going too far, Karsk muttered, shaking his head. This isn't what we wanted. Tarkin's fists clenched, but it's what we need. Hours later, the Federation fleet and the human strike force converged on Stralex, a planet fortified by the tyrants as their last line of defense. The tyrant fleet hung in orbit, forming a blockade. Cole's voice crackled over the comms. We go in hard. No mercy. They think they can dig in here, but they're wrong. The human ships moved in silently. They darted between the tyrant vessels, unleashing devastating blasts of energy that bypassed shields and tore through hulls. Federation ships followed, providing cover fire, but it was clear the humans didn't need it. In the midst of the chaos, Commander Cole stood on the bridge of the lead ship, eyes fixed on the battlefield. Bring us in closer, he ordered. Prepare for the ground assault. His lieutenant, Harris, nodded and relayed the commands. The ship descended through the planet's atmosphere, flanked by hundreds of drop pods, each carrying human soldiers ready to storm the surface. The landing was brutal. Tyrant artillery opened fire as soon as the pods hit the ground, explosions ripping through the air. But the humans moved with practiced ease, weaving through the chaos, breaking through the tyrant lines with heavy attacks. Cole's boots hit the dirt, his rifle raised as he advanced through the smoke and flames. Tyrant soldiers charged at him, their roars echoing across the battlefield. But Cole didn't hesitate. His rifle spat out rounds in quick succession, each shot a kill. His squad followed, cutting down the enemy like clockwork. Behind them, the Federation forces struggled to keep up. Tarkin watched from a distance his heart pounding as he saw the sheer efficiency of the human troops. Karsk, standing beside him, grimaced. Tarkin didn't respond. His eyes stayed locked on Cole, who was already deep within the tyrant defenses, clearing a path with ruthless efficiency. Within hours, the battle was over. The tyrant stronghold had fallen. Their last fleet shattered in orbit. Their armies crushed on the ground. Tarkin walked through the aftermath, stepping over the bodies of dead tyrant soldiers. He found Cole standing on the remains of a destroyed bunker, staring out at the horizon. It's done, Cole said, not turning around. Tarkin stopped behind him. You've done what we asked, but this isn't victory. This is annihilation. Cole finally turned to face him. You wanted peace, Captain. Peace doesn't come from half. Measures. It comes from making sure your enemies don't get back up. Tarkin's hands balled into fists. At what cost? Cole's gaze didn't waver. Better, maybe. But we're still here. And they aren't. Tarkin opened his mouth to argue. But before he could speak, a new message came through on their comms. Commander Cole, Captain Tarkin, report to command immediately, the voice said. The voice said, the war is over. For a moment, neither man spoke. Then Cole turned, his face as unreadable as ever. Looks like you get your peace, Captain. Tarkin stared at him, unsure of whether to feel relieved or horrified. The war was over, but something told him this wasn't the end, not by a long shot. The declaration of victory came faster than anyone had expected. Tyrant warlords, realizing the futility of resistance, surrendered en masse. Their empire, once the dominant force in the galaxy, crumbled in days. The Federation hailed it as the greatest triumph in its history, and celebrations erupted across countless worlds. But Tarkin couldn't shake the unease gnawing at him. At the center of it all, Cole stood like a statue his expression as cold as ever. The council leader, 
a wizened alien named Vellner raised his arms. Today, we owe our lives, our very existence, to the humans. Without their intervention, the tyrants would have destroyed us. We are forever in their debt. There were murmurs of agreement, and some even clapped. But Tarkin remained silent, his eyes fixed on Cole. When Vellner finished, Cole stepped forward, his voice cutting through the noise like a blade. The Federation asked for help. We gave it. Now we expect cooperation. Vellner blinked, clearly taken aback. Of course. Commander Cole, humanity's actions have earned our eternal gratitude. What exactly do you mean by cooperation? Cole's eyes scanned the room. The Tyrant Empire is gone. The galaxy is in chaos. If you want peace, it's going to take more than a few treaties and words. We're taking command of the stabilization efforts. A ripple of shock passed through the chamber. Vellner's voice trembled as he spoke. Not anymore, Cole said flatly. You couldn't protect it. You couldn't even protect yourselves. Humanity did that for you. Now we'll make sure no one else can threaten you again. The room erupted into protests. Diplomats from every species stood, shouting in disbelief, but Cole didn't flinch. His squad standing near the back remained motionless, their presence a silent reminder of the power humanity now wielded. Tarkin stood slowly, his voice firm. Cole's gaze shifted to him. The deal changed, Captain. You needed us, and we delivered. Now we're securing the peace we fought for. Tarkin's heart pounded in his chest. This was it. The moment he'd feared. This isn't peace. This is conquest. Cole's expression hardened. Vevelner, his voice shaking, tried to regain control. Enough, Cole snapped, cutting him off. Tarkin stepped forward his voice filled with a fire he hadn't felt in years. No, we didn't fight to trade one tyrant for another. Cole's eyes locked onto him, a dangerous glint in his gaze. Careful, Captain. You're forgetting who won this war. Tarkin didn't back down. Maybe we needed you to win the war, but we won't let you take the galaxy. The room fell deathly silent. Everyone waited breath held for Cole's reaction. For a moment, it seemed like the commander would explode, but instead, he smiled. A cold, humorless smile. You're brave, Captain. I'll give you that, but bravery doesn't change reality. The galaxy is ours now. Tarkin's heart sank. He knew then that the war wasn't truly over. The tyrant empire had fallen, but a new empire was rising in its place an empire led by humanity. And Tarkin feared it more than anything. In the days that followed, humanity solidified its control. Systems once under tyrant rule now bowed to the new power. The Federation, too weak to resist, was left with little choice but to comply. Tarkin stood on the bridge of his ship, staring out at the stars. He had fought for the Federation, for freedom. But now he felt like a relic of a different time. A time when the galaxy still believed in something more than brute force. Beside him, Karsk spoke quietly. What do we do now, Captain? Tarkin's eyes stayed on the stars. We watch. We wait. Karsk frowned. Hope for what? Tarkin didn't answer. He didn't know. But something told him the galaxy hadn't seen the last of the fight.